Welcome back. We're really delighted today to have Mark Jones, the upcoming chairman of the Mortgage Banker Association on our show today. And you know what? I have to admit, I don't even know what that is. So Mark, welcome and tell us about what Mortgage Banker Association is and what you're going to do. Thanks, Mary. I appreciate that. Well, first of all, the Mortgage Bankers Association is similar to the National Association of Realtors, NAR, your your national trade association for realtors. The Mortgage Bankers Association does the same types of things that NAR does in Washington, D.C. for mortgage bankers. They represent us in Congress and, and in the Senate, anything that legislatively that, that has to do with housing or housing finance. They also uh, represent us with various agencies, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Ginnie mm. Mae, the FHFA, the Federal Home Loan Bank System. Any of the policies and procedures that come out of those agencies or the government, the MBA takes a, a measure of what their members, what's important to them, mm-hmm. and advocates on our behalf and, and, and tries to help move legislation and the agencies towards, towards our ends, uh, similar, to again, to what the National Association of Realtors does for the, uh, for the realtor community. Um, as far as my role, um, mm-hmm. there's a th- three-step ladder at the Mortgage Bankers Association mm-hmm. to, and to become the chairman. Uh, the first was vice chair. That was last year for me. Okay. Currently, I'm the chairman-elect. And then, and this October, I will be sworn in as, as MBA chair. And having three folks that are, are in that ladder, it allows us to work together uh, to kind of learn the ropes as far as what you do when, when you are the chair. Sure. Um, and there, then, then, then your immediate past chair also has some, some role. So it's, it's a really good process that the Mortgage Bankers Association does. So I, can, I learned a lot last year, learning more this year and, yeah. and, uh, and even more in the future. So. That's awesome. So... So from that perspective with going in for legislation, it's trying to get the government to understand the needs and requires of mortgage lenders and thus us as consumers, yes. right? And so what are some of the key things that you guys have done, you know, that that our listeners would know? Well, I think recently um, with some of the changes uh, with the FHFA coming in and taking over uh, leadership of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, Mm -hmm. and particularly when you go from a a Republican administration to a Democratic administration, they look at housing differently. Uh, One of the key things that we lobbied for was under the old administration, there was a there was a a percentage of of second homes and investor properties that that uh, that mortgage bankers were allowed to sell to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and they put this hard cap on it so it created this this uh, disruption in the market particularly mm. in the second home and investor market sure. that was that was awful well that we would lobbied to get that changed and as soon as the new administration came in uh, we were able to get that changed and modified. Oh, nice. It helped out a lot. And then they still took a crack at it, but it, they did it in a more balanced approach. And that's what we're trying to do is is really go after things like that. Another example right now uh, is on the, on the F- in the FHA world, the, uh, the FHA mortgage insurance premium is extremely high right now. Mm. And then the mutual mortgage insurance fund, the, the, the insurance fund that the government has to insure these FHA loans right. is the highest it's ever been. And so we're lobbying like crazy to get them to lower that to reduce the cost of, of, of home ownership because that mortgage insurance premium, as you know, it just adds on tax on to the interest rate. It just makes it even higher in an already higher interest rate environment. So those are the few of the things that, that we're working on right now. I love that. So that affordability factor that we need so desperately right now because yes. interest rates have gone doubled in the last year. Yes, they have. You know, one of the things that we're all interested in is a projection. Mm-hmm. If you could yes. put your crystal ball of what yep. you know, twenty twenty three is going to look like from your eyes. Well, you know, in in the Mortgage Bankers Association, because we've got two components to our our world. Mm-hmm. You you have home sales. We have we have mortgages and refinances. Right. So when you when we look back from twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. We went down fifty percent. Incredible. You guys in in just the real estate world went down about eighteen percent. So yeah. it wasn't quite as bad. I mean, we really fell off a cliff. Sure. When we look forward into next year, uh, we're looking at probably another thirteen percent of fall off in the in the mortgage banking world, the, and the and the 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 purchase and sale business, which you which you're more interested in. It's going to slow down. I mean, it's going to slow a little bit. It's only going to be like mm-hmm. a five to eight percent reduction, is what the Mortgage Bankers Association. And I did look at NARS numbers, and NARS numbers, uh, National Association of yeah. Realtors and MBAs are very close. So yeah. I think we're we're in agreement. So our industry, <laughs> that, that's the first, right? Uh, well, or maybe not. We're, we're close. Well, yeah. actually, I think I think NARS. Uh, uh, their senior uh, economist used to work at MBA, so I think I think they're that, coming I, closer. I think, they think they, I think they've got a collaborative effort yeah. going on there. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. 
And you were you were continuing on with another thought. Oh well, I was going to say um, when I when I look at uh, what we did in 2020 as an mm-hmm. as an industry between the the real estate finance and the refinances, it was oh, four and a half trillion dollars. Wow! And, and, wow! And this last year, 2022, dropped to to, to two. Uh, two point two trillion dollars, and yeah. next year is going to be under two trillion dollars, and so you see that that falling away of, yeah. of purchases. Um, in the um, NARS, sh- looking at like a six point eight percent reduction next year. So, like I said, they're we're showing eight; they're showing six point eight. So we're close. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Which is always great. Yeah. Now I love that. My question also is, what about backwards? When you look back a year ago. Would you have ever thought interest rates were going to rise as fast and what that was going to do to the market? Heck no. <laughs> Nobody did. <laughs> Heck you know, no. and, and honestly, before, before this is from, so we're talking now from 2021 to 2022. Mm-hmm. Before 2021, one of the criticisms that I had of a lot of the, the forecasts that I saw was they were always too conservative. They, we, we always seem to be you know, moving it up and moving it up and moving yeah. it up. Well, in 2022, we kept moving it down. So to answer your question directly, when we did our business planning right. uh, for 2022, we were looking at, in November, we were looking at the forecast for t- November of 2021, looking at the forecast, mm-hmm. and they were showing a 25 to 30% reduction. That included refinance and purchase and sale transactions. Okay. Well, my in my company, we did less than the industry average as far as refinances. So we figured we'd be down about 20% and we planned accordingly. And then it seemed like every month, it just kept getting lowered and lowered and lowered mm-hmm. and lowered to now where we went from you know looking at a 25 to 30% reduction in overall business to the actual number was 50%. Yeah, which is crazy. Yes. You know, in this market here, um, I was just uh, preparing for some things and our sales have gone down mm-hmm. year over year between 21 and 22. But the prices have gone up. So the number of families that we're helping is less, Mm -hmm. but the price is still going up. Mm -hmm. And even in December, it was up ever so slightly across the entire MLS in our area in Southwest Florida. Well, you know, Mark, I hope we can make this a regular thing for you to come back in. Oh, and um, we want to thank you for taking the time to come in. And as always, um, if you'd like to see more of this content, see more things, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell because then you'll know when the next piece of information is coming out. 